Is it safe to come out yet? God. This has been the longest 18 months of my life. <sighs> well, there is some good news to all this, and that's that in uh, 24 hours I can finally have my TV and my uh, internet and my email and my phone back, and that the campaigners will stop hijacking it every two seconds. I'm sick of the ads, I'm sick of the phone calls that I get every four hours from someone campaigning for somebody. And the ads and all of it. I'm just glad it's going to be over. At this point, I almost don't care who wins. So, we're almost there, and I've got a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, I did shoot some video today, and I will be shooting some more video tomorrow, and I will be editing the next two days for doing uh, the soaping videos. I am going to be filming all of the reviews of all those different books that I got from the library before I return them. So those reviews will be coming up online. And uh, really exciting that uh, Full Spectrum Survival just announced today that they plan on doing a free YouTube video slash movie that is a preppers movie. And it is, if you go to theprepermovie.com, they have details on it. I'll put the link below, and I also put the link below to Full Spectrum Survival. If you have not checked out their videos, you have to. They actually have amazingly smart, um, logical, common sense, but great tactical stuff, too. I mean, some of their stuff you, you wouldn't even, you'd be surprised how common sense it is. And yet, it's information that you never heard before. So, kudos to those guys for really taking the initiative. And from what I heard, it's going to be about a 30-minute movie uh, that is free on YouTube, but they will be re releasing it on um, DVD and on Blu-ray. So, I think it's going to be huge, and I'm really excited for them. And I hope that you will check out and try to help them in any way possible because I know they're looking for people to give input on it. So check them out, definitely. Subscribe their videos. Very, very much worth it. And I do have a question for you, and that question is if I created a Facebook page for all of you to check out um, from me, is that something you'd be interested in, or is YouTube enough for you? And also, I will post a link below. I just did a uh, blog, which I haven't kept up with very well. We had this, uh, you know, storm called Sandy that kind of came through and messed up my schedule a little, you know, that little thing. Um, but I'll, I'll be trying to post in between my videos on there a little bit more often so you can see what I'm doing. What I have been doing, what isn't exactly video worthy, but, you know, um, is enough for me to report on it. Just so you know that I haven't slipped through the cracks and disappeared somewhere. Also, I think I'm gonna do a follow-up video on all of those herbs that I brought in the house to show you how well they're doing indoors so far and all of the herbs that I propagated I will show you how well they did or did not do um, you know I'll show you them in all their deathly glory and uh, a couple of them did okay so I will I'll show you what worked and what didn't work and hopefully we'll learn from it and try again on something else um, so I've I've got those things in the work, so you should be seeing a lot of uh, videos from me in the future, within the next eh, two weeks or so. I, I'm not going to say that I'm going to get them all up this week. That's a little, uh, little ambitious for me. Um, weekends are really hard for me. Uh, they're the one day that I do a farmer's market, and typically Sundays I try to plan some other event. If not... A uh, farmer's market or a craft show, a private event, you know, the private home candle parties or, um, you know, whatever else I can, I can squeak myself into for an event. So typically, Saturdays and Sundays are kind of booked up for me. So you won't see me doing much those days, but 
I, uh, Monday through Friday, I try to get a little bit more done. Provided I'm not doing something like, uh, you know, creating Halloween costumes for eight hours, which did come out fantastic, I will have, I will say. Um, I'll see if I can post a picture up of the two that I made. I turned my nephew into a frog, and I turned my niece into Snow White. And I managed to do it all with, uh, no sewing machine. Thanks, Sandy. And, uh... So eight hours of hand sewing, and I got them all done, and I have learned that I am not going to hand sew costumes the day of Halloween. I'll try to get those done a month before from now on with a sewing machine, and if I can help it, uh, I will just try to buy them beforehand because that is a lot of work. Uh, but it worked. They were adorable, and uh, they got their sugar high, so Halloween was a success. Uh, so, I will let you all get back to watching the news with the oh-so-interesting uh, election updates. By the way, how can you report on something when only 7% of the votes have been counted? That just doesn't seem right to me. But, that is it for me. This is the Unlikely Prepper. Signing out tonight, and hopefully tomorrow we will wake up knowing who is going to run this country for the next four years. God help us all. Good night, all.